I have, uh, uh, you know, here we have election, you know, pre, a, a prime election. So uh, I am I am been elected to be a judge, election judge. And there is a training you have to take. Uh, so, you know, we have a break. And one of those guys there, you know, I have an accent, and etc. So he asked me, so are you a Muslim? I said, what? I said, are you a Muslim? I said, do I look stupid for you? He said, no, no, I don't mean. I said, why are you, why are you saying to me I'm Muslim? What I did, did I do something wrong? <laughs> oh, are you a Muslim? I didn't know what to say. I mean, from all the religion in the world, you could not choose for me except to be a Muslim, a person who believed that God will give versions in heaven. I mean, do I need to be a genius to figure out that Islam is a stupid religion and it's a stupid to be a Muslim? Who died in the cross? I mean, is that the question you asked me or we should ask you the question? Abdul, for the sake of the leg of Allah, who died in the cross? I want to know myself because let me tell you what Islam teaches us. According to the Prophet of Allah, there is a guy, his name is Isa. Isa. This is the true Isa. But Allah, he fabricated another Isa. And then, then Allah, he make the fake Isa look like real Isa. Let's make it simple. The question now, who is the one was in the cross? <laughs> you are asking me? <laughs> the Muslim Abdul is asking me who was in the cross. I want to know. I want to know, not you. This is the most stupid religion. So look what happened. Allah, he made someone look like Isa, but the true Isa was not in the cross. However, the true Isa looked exactly like the fake Isa, and the fake Isa looked like exactly like the true Isa. So when they put the true Isa in the cross, they could not recognize if this is the true Isa or the fake Isa. However, the Christian, they think it's the true Isa, but the fact it was the fake Isa, and Allah, he took the real Isa to heaven, and he put the fake Isa in the cross. Now, let me ask you, how Allah was able to recognize between them? If both, they look the same. Maybe he took to heaven the fake Isa. Hello? How you are a Muslim, believe in such a garbage, yet you are asking me who is the true Isa? Who was in the cross? Who was in the cross? I want to know who was in the cross. I mean, your God, he could not find a better solution than except faking Isa. I mean, can't he take him to heaven and that's it, send the ambulance? We, 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 hey, Isa, jump, jump. We, 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 to Allah. Allah, he sent us to uh, rescue you. We, 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 we. I mean, what this drama is about?
what this drama is about fake isa real isa the real isa look like fake isa and the fake isa look like real isa so now people they think this is isa but this is not isa but the ricos are isa so the isa but the other one is a however not the question they say it's isa but it's not isa and isa the nurse is someone in the heaven and the isa and then under allah he took the isa isa and you know the the jewish they thought it this is isa in the cross but he did not isa but the fact that the true isa was not really crucified it was the fake isa was crucified and allah blood okay hold on <coughs> Unbelievable. Should we call Zach and Nayak? Shall we? <laughs> a Muslim is asking us who was in the cross. <laughs> That's hilarious. <coughs> Hello? 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 Who is this? Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum uh, uh, We have a question, really. Who was in the cross? Because we have a Christian guys here, they are asking questions about that. Okay. Brother and sister, some Christians, they ask you a question. They say to you, it is the true Isa was in the cross. However, this is absolutely wrong. Because Allah, the Almighty God, He made someone look like Isa. He have the same iPhone. He have the same mustache. He have the same beard. He have the same eyebrows. He have the same eyes. Actually, his eyes is very beautiful. Both they look exactly the same. To the point, the Jewess and you know the Jewess are very smart. You cannot fool the do. You cannot fool the do. However, Allah is the best of the deceiver. So Allah, he made someone look exactly like Isa to the point they could not recognize the true Isa from the fake Isa. So when they came to arrest Isa, they arrested the fake Isa. And this is how Allah, he saved Isa. So now the question, who was in the cross? It was the fake Isa or the true Isa? The answer is very simple. Allah knows best. Because it's maybe that Allah, he sacrificed the true Isa and he saved the fake Isa because both look the same. However, this is an allegation made by a guy, his name is a Christian prince. Don't ever listen to him, and whatever he say to you, don't say yes, don't say no. Thank you very much. This is a religion? This is a religion. And speaking about logic and separation between the soul and the body? Hmm? Let it go. Let it go. I have a talent? Sure, I'm full of talent. It's God's gift, my friend. So now, the Muslim is confused. After all what we gave you, he is asking, was Christ in the cross united, the soul united with the flesh or not? Abdul, uh, Abdul, listen to me carefully. I love all the Abduls. When Jesus was on the cross, he was still alive, right? Mm -hmm. That's mean at that moment when they when they killed him, I don't want to use the word sacrifice, when they killed him, they killed him and the soul was there. However, you speak here about existence because you are ignorant like you're a prophet. The existence of the word of God, of the Christ, have nothing to do with the existence of the body. Jesus said in my, many places, in the Bible that he is exist always as an example he said before Abraham I am the Jews they said to him how you are before Abraham and you are not even 50 years old how you can be exist before Abraham this is a statement of somebody is not aware of what he is saying unless it is truthful before Abraham I am but how you can be before Abraham but you are a young man he has exist before his birth. He said, I am the Alpha, I am the Omega, I am the beginning, I am the end. I am the truth, and the truth do not need to be born. So the birth of Jesus in the body of a man have nothing to do with the existence of the Messiah. For he was the Word of God. And this is what all the Bible is teaching. So my friend, when they killed, they killed the body. And as long the Quran confirmed that Jesus can resurrect people from death. 
Can't he resurrect his own? Can't he come back to life? Can't he overcome death? So what happened to Isa or to, you know, we call him Jesus, you call him Isa, I don't know why. Uh, nothing. Exactly nothing. For God never die. It was the body which die, but God never die. God is always alive. He is the living God. Once upon the time, there was two Egyptian guys, and one of them started debating me, and he didn't know that I am a Christian prince for sure, otherwise he would never open his mouth. He said to me, don't you think it's really crazy to believe that Jesus and insulting to Jesus and insulting to God to believe that Jesus was crucified? Do you think really if Jesus is the son of God, his father will let him die? I said, are you sure? He said, yeah. If Jesus is son of God, there is no way his father will let him get crucified and humiliated. I said, well, based in your argument, that's mean Jesus is son of God according to Islam. Because according to Islam, Jesus was never crucified. And Allah saved him. This is how stupid the logic of the Muslims. I advise you Muslims, before you speak, before you open your mouth, count to 10, especially if your statement is going to come to me, because I'm going to make you the joke of everybody. When the Muslim they say, here we see that the fact of Jesus in Islam is a clo closer to reason. We ask here what what fact you are talking about, because even in Islam, even in Islam, Jesus was in the cross. And let us tell you how this happened. If we go to the Quran, we read the following. <clears throat> Switch to Arabic. وقولهم إن قتلنا المسيح عيسى بن مريم رسول الله وما قتلوه وما صلبوه ولكن شبه لهم. Translation. You can choose any translation made by the Abdul. All of them they are fake, but I will let it go. And they say. We killed Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. And here, look, guys, look how stupid this statement is. How they killed him, but yet they say he is a messenger of Allah. If, 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 have you ever heard of somebody when I kill somebody, he, he believes he's a prophet? They will not kill him if, he's, if, if he is a prophet for them. So those are believers, but they, yet they kill him. Why? What was the reason to kill a messenger of Allah? Anyone can tell me. Muslims, as always, they have no answer. But they killed him not. So this is confirmed that they killed him not. But what will happen? No crucified him. They did not crucify him. But so it was made to appeal to them. That's mean. That's mean, Abdul. Based on this, Allah, he made us see Jesus in the cross. That's mean. If you want to question why we believe in Jesus' crucifixion, go and ask your stupid Allah because he is the one who made him appear in the cross and we are the victims. What is my fault if your God, he made him appear to me? Who is the donkey in this scenario? The one who made it appear or the one who is a human being, he just judged by what he see? Any Muslim can give us an answer? If your God is the one who made Jesus appear in the cross for us, but it was not Jesus. So let us meet the way this way. Brother Sitter, it was the wisdom of Allah, the Almighty, to make Jesus appear in the cross, but it was not Jesus. So the Christian, they were standing in the front of Jesus. They thought it is Jesus because Allah made them believe it's Jesus. And because Allah is the better of the deceiver, as a Christian prince, he named his book the Deceptive of Allah. Therefore, the, the Christian, the poor Christian, they thought Jesus was the crucified, but the fact he wasn't the crucified, 
because Allah he did not make him crucified because Allah makes someone appear like him and he put him in the cross and they thought and they thought he's the crucified because Allah made it appear for them to be crucified so now Allah is going to punish them because they believe in his lie thank you very much <laughs> What a stupid religion, man! Unbelievable. Um, I mean, this is this is philosophy. This is the genius philosopher Muhammad. How he can come with this, man? This is amazing. This is so beautiful. Tony, get us some pizza, Tony. Get us some pizza to the fake Jesus because he is dying in the cross. And the Christian, they think this is the true Jesus. And don't forget to make another order for the real Jesus. Tony, Bambino. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid religion more than Islam? So the God of Islam and the Muslim, they blame us for believing that Jesus was in the cross when it is their God who made it appear for us. <laughs> Why you believe in the crucifixion of Jesus? Why? Huh? Why you believe in the crucifixion of Jesus? Your Allah, he made it appear to us, man. Um, yeah, this is true. Allah, he made it appear to you. But Muhammad came 600 years after. You know, guys, Muhammad is a witness of nothing. He was not in the time of Jesus. He never met Jesus. He never spoke to Jesus. He never even spoke to Allah. He never met Allah. He never heard even the fart of Allah. But yet he is going to witness for someone who has exist before him 600 years. This is the Muslim logic. They say to you, do you know that the Bible, do you know the Bible? Brother Fitter, do you know that the Bible, the first Bible is written between 40 to 60 years after Jesus? How we can trust such a book? However, our prophet, peace upon him, came 600 years after Jesus. And this is why we trust him, because he came long after. Because in Islamic logic, the more farther you are, the more trustworthy you are. Thank you very much. Unbelievable. So 60 years after Jesus for the Muslims is a problem. 600 years after Jesus is a trustworthy. Any comment from any Abdul? <clears throat> Do we have any comment from the Abdul? <coughs> Hello? Hello? It's me you're looking for. I am the same as before, but today is the fake me, and Allah, he saved me. Hello? Allah saved the fake Jesus. We're not Jesus. We're not Jesus. I'm an Indian Jesus. So now we have Jesus, and but this is not Jesus. Which Jesus is the Jesus? And you Muslims asking us, who was in the cross? <laughs> Do we have any Abdul? <coughs> Abdul, he sent me a request. Hold on. You do not need, nobody need to send me a request, guys. He can just can't call me. I do not need to accept any request of anyone. If you are a Muslim and you want to call me, just call. 